Hi guys, I'm Dr. Roma Sarnaik. I'm in the clinical nutrition and physical activity and health and fitness. Um, today I'm going to show you a few basic exercises which you can do at your home without any equipment, especially this time when like you cannot go outside in the gym. So yeah. Proper nutrition and physical fitness are two really very important parts of our lives which we generally tend to neglect and they are really very important and they go a long way. So just a few minutes each day will do wonders for you. So guys, before we start our workout today, there's four things which are really essential and I want you all to keep in mind. The first being, please, please, please eat something at least 30 minutes prior to starting your workout. It should be low in carbs. I generally eat a banana or peanut butter bread. It is to help you perform good. You don't want to faint. You don't want to feel dizzy and you want to burn the fat and not the muscles. The second thing is to not skip the warm up before starting your workout. Third thing being, please, please, please keep your water bottles along and keep sipping water every five to 10 minutes while you work out. It is really essential and keep stretching. And the last and final thing being, please relax and cool down post workout don't just finish your workout and run to your work please 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 cool down relax stretch and then leave it is really as essential as your workout and wear some proper and comfortable footwear as well because you your feet might get injured if you do it without shoes so keeping your feet shoulder width apart go down slowly while touching your thighs and legs Go down as much as you can. Those who can, go even further. Touch the feet, touch the floor. It's okay even if you can't. Just wait and hold at the position till where you are able to go. And then come back up. Next, we are going to keep the feet a bit wider. Push your hands in the front and your hips at the back and stretch. Keep your knees stiff. So from the front view, push your hips back, hands in the front, keep your knees stiff, don't bend your knees. And then we'll do cross toe touch, touching opposite toe with the opposite hand. Eight to 10 times, keep your knees stiff. Then stretch in the front, stretch in the back, you'll feel it in the lower back. Touch both your feet, come back up. Now in the same position, bend backwards, be careful, don't overdo it. Go till wherever you can, feel it in your lower back, your back should be arched and relaxed. Now let's do skipping with an imaginary skipping rope. Just imagine that you're skipping, do it a few more times. Now we'll do jumping jacks, feet and hands together, make yourself lighter and more lighter. Do it smoothly, don't do it very fast. Now let's do squats, the feet will be at shoulder width distance, shoulder width apart. I'll show you from the other way. Shoulder width apart, push your hands in the front, hips at the back and sit as if you're sitting on a chair. Keep your back straight as much as you can. About the knees, the knees should be straight at 90 degree, should not go in the front. Be careful with your knees, you don't want any knee injuries, posture is very important. Do it slowly, you don't have to do it fast. The knees should be in a line parallel. They shouldn't bend out, shouldn't turn outwards. It goes down slowly. Take care of the form and you'll feel it in your glutes and hamstrings even more. When you come up, pay attention to your knees. Your knees should not lock. It should be a bit folded. So now this is folded, this is complete lock. Keep it a bit folded at an angle. Don't lock your knees completely. You tend to develop knee injuries if you lock your knees completely. And then go down and hold for 5 seconds. 
hold in the squat position and try and hold longer if you can. We are now going to do basketball drilling. Go down as if you are picking a basketball and throw it to the right side. Go down again and then throw the basketball to your left side. Now don't just take your upper body down directly like this. No. Bend your knees. Upper body should go down on its own as you bend your knees and then throw. Bend and then throw. Bend and then throw. Bend properly and throw. And do it a few more times. Jump higher. Throw it to your right and then left. Now we are going to do sumo squats. So keep your feet shoulder width apart. Take one step and then two steps out. And then turn your feet outside. Yeah. So from the side, one feet apart, two feet apart, and turn the feet outside. Good. Now push your hands in the front and hip in the back. Just like we did squats. Knees should be 90 degrees. Go back. Don't go in the front. Go back. Hands in the front. Hip at the back. Now again, when you come up, the knees should not lock. Keep it at an angle. Keep the knees at an angle. And go down. Push your hands. Go down. Do a few more repetitions. Now take something heavy. I took my water bottle. Keep it between both your legs in the front and go into the sumo squat position again. Go down. Cup the water bottle, hold it from beneath like this. And now we are going to do sumo squats with the bottle in our hand. Now this bottle is just one liter, it is really light. You can get two liter bottles or you can get anything heavy, take a dabba from the kitchen, take a suitcase, just grab anything that's heavy and hold. Hold in that position for as long as you can, at least five seconds. Now lie down on the floor on your mat. Your feet will be shoulder width apart. Your back will naturally arch over the floor. Look up. Take your feet up. Take your legs up. And then push your legs in the front. We are doing knee pull-ins. Lying on the back. And push. And push. If you can't take your knees up in the first go, keep your hands beneath your hips and then make your legs lift up push and push and now we are going to hold at an angle so hold your legs hands below or side or up or whichever position you find comfortable hold Three, two, one. Take your legs a bit below. Four, three, two, one. And three more. Two, one. Relax. Now take both your legs up. We are going to do scissors. Keep them up and do up and down and up and down just like a scissor. Now knees will not be bent. Keep your knees straight, keep your ankles straight, stretched. Stop. Cross and cross and cross. Keep doing it. And done. Next, we are going to do high knees. Attend your knees to the palms. Don't take your palms below. Try to take your knees above. And butt kick. Keep your hands on your butt and try to touch your feet to the palms again.
Chinese and now we'll jump touch and touch and touch and touch butt kick try to touch your hand try to be straight touch your hand and do it as fast as possible do both the exercises alternatively do 8 to 10 reps for each don't be disheartened if you can't do it fast it's equally effective even if you do it slow so just try either slow or fast keep doing it and touch and touch and touch and done now lie down on your backs keep your legs in a comfortable position relax them Keep your hands in a convenient and suitable position for you, it is different for everyone, for me it's this. Close your eyes and then breathe. Breathe in slowly and out and in and out and in and out. And just relax, don't think about anything. And just lie down in that position for another five minutes. And we are done, guys. Don't forget to drink water, keep sipping water. So guys, I hope you all found the video to be helpful. Please do give me your feedbacks if you want any such workout routine videos which you can do at home in the future. And I'll soon be posting about stretching forms and techniques because I've seen so many people perform stretching in such a wrong way which actually causes harm to the body instead of giving any benefits. Do work out every day. Try to at least 3 or 4 days. It will just take 10-15 minutes of your schedule to do the minimum of it. And even if you can't fix the workout schedule in your routines, do, do, do try to stretch a bit. Stretching really helps. Do watch my next video about stretching. It really helps. It calms you. It relaxes your mind. And especially at this time when we are inside our homes quarantine, you can't go to the gym. Your, your life has become so sedentary. And I think even around the year, there's something or the else going on in everyone's lives. Might be personal issues, professional issues, so many things. So please, please, please do exercise. It will take you a long way. And as I always say, be healthy, stay fit and see you super soon.